Hi, in this episode of my Inkscape Beginner's Guide, I continue with the mask option which you can find in the object menu. First let's create a couple of circles. And this one I'm going to change the color to yellow, this one to green, and I'm going to position them. Also going to create a rectangle and change the color to white. First thing you need to know about this option is that any object can be used to mask another object. Also you can mask more than one object. In this case we have two circles and a rectangle on top and this rectangle will be the mask. So if I select them all, go to the object menu, mask, set and now you see that where the rectangle which was the mask overlapped with the objects that's the part that we can see and anything outside of the rectangle is invisible, is transparent. So two important things so far, the mask needs to be on top of the objects that you want to mask and also anything that is outside of the mask will be transparent. Another important thing is that the opacity and lightness of the mask determines the opacity of the masked objects. So if I change the color of this rectangle to black, then select these objects, go to object, mask, set. Now everything is transparent because black is the color that uh, has no lightness and therefore everything inside the mask is transparent. You can use other colors for the mask, it doesn't have to be black or white, but it will be hard for you to determine how much uh, transparency are you going to get that's why I use black white and shades of gray and let's test this on this digital photograph I'm going to create a circle here and I'm going to select this radio gradient click to edit the gradient and first step I'm going to make white I'll select the second step and leave the color to black and also I'm going to change the alpha to 255 and I'm also going to zoom out select this control D to duplicate it and move it over here so we can see better what's happening then go to the object menu mask set and now you see where we have white a color with the most lightness you see that the image is fully opaque and then where we have gray the image becomes semi-transparent and where we have black the image is completely transparent so more lightness more opacity and more darkness less opacity and of course everything outside of the mask is transparent again and also you can control the opacity of the uh, end result with the opacity of the mask so if I select the circle and I'm going to change the color to white and I'm going to reduce the opacity then select this with the shift key object mask set and you see now this is semi transparent if I move it over here I'm going to move the selection on top and you see that this is semi transparent now so with the opacity of the mask we can control the opacity of the end result and in one of my next tutorials when I'm finishing the 3D box that I'm making I'm going to use the mask option to create a reflection when I'm ready with those tutorials I'll upload them and that's it for this one I hope that it was useful if it was like the video leave a comment and if you're new to my tutorials subscribe visit my channel and that's it for now bye